So don't be dis- you know, alarmed by the MMR. Spitsage is unranked, so he hasn't played that many games on Warcraft 3 Champs. And Hello Moto, I think, has played at least a few. Uh, he's kind of like a dark horse. Hello Moto playing for the Tavern, I believe, yeah. Um, he's somewhat of a dark horse because when he signed up, he didn't have any games played on Warcraft 3 Champs. He gave us a 2v2 replay, and it was clear that he has a good micro. But we really don't, weren't exactly sure where to place him. So it's been kind of a lot of testing. And then we got Bitsage on the other side. Uh, those of you who are watching this from the gym Discord, he's not Bitsage in Discord. He's Boom Shickles. Uh, he's playing for Clutcher Kick. And I think right now it's 9-0 point-wise. Clutcher Kick is leading the tavern. So this would be the fourth series out of nine. So there's still plenty of time for them to catch up. And I, uh, anyone who's ever seen Boom Shickle plays knows he does random, random things. But it all usually revolves around the tavern hero. Uh, he just goes random and then he gets a random... Well, he usually has a plan, but he gets a tavern hero and it's... Last season was Pit Lord. This season, uh, I saw, what, Alchemist and DR, I think, was last week or two weeks ago. I know there was definitely a DR. I'm not sure if the second one, I think it was an Alchemist first. Didn't really work out for him. He lost. But he did tell me he has something planned for this week. Now, we just got Fiends over here. Fast Hero, Slow Fiends. Footies with something. Um, we'll see. I'm not even going to bother guessing because one, it's unusual, but two, like he's not following any meta. There is no real meta for this anyway. Like I said, I don't know if Hello Moto knows that he does this random stuff. We'll find out. He is sending his hero over, so he will see it. Okay. So Pit Lord first. Interesting. I guess we'll see. It's a real quick Naroop Tower. Not that quick, but unnecessary. But he didn't know it. He's probably a little confused when he saw a tavern going up. Or the that a tavern hero was gonna be going up because you know maybe he's trying to rush across map with something. He is staying to your one kind of long. I'm waiting for the tech. I think, you know, everyone does this sometimes. Just accidentally forget the tech. There's the tech. He'll get his fiend probably, hopefully soon. He has the gold for it. Alright, Bitsage should be teching himself soon. I mean, I keep saying that, but he ha there he goes. I was going to say, he's not making additional peasants, he's not calling to arms, so he's not creeping anything too hard, which is probably he really can't with the Pit Lord. And you saw a nice little steal, creep steal from Hello Moto. Not the biggest deal, but it's always nice to deny some creep, or some creeps. So standard fiends over here, I don't know what that was. Is he trying to... I missed it, but I guess he wanted that? That doesn't seem worth it at all. I guess maybe he wanted to pull it, but either way, he took a ton of damage on his hero. I mean, I think it's to the point where Boom won't mind losing this footman. Yeah, it sucks. But significantly weaker DK. Problem really is with this Pit Lord is... I mean, I'm not sure what his goal is. It doesn't doesn't seem that great as a first hero with human. You know, I know there's some strategies with orc where you'll see a pit lord either, you know, not even first though, but you'll see a pit lord. Obviously with undead you see it, but how often do you see human pit lord footmen? A lot of these creeps could be getting denied, but this DK is getting such low life that I, he's scared to get close. So there's level 2 for Boom. Or Bitsage. 
Um, he's got to watch out, though. There's no way to really stop this fiend from just harassing him from afar. So this is completely standard textbook gameplay from the undead. At least in the build. Versus, I don't know what. The human. Two scrolls of regen. Okay. So, the human switching over to rifleman. Not a bad item. Map hack right there. Tech right to tier 3. Got his lich. Alrighty. This is a Great Wall of China over here. Just keeps going. That's an interesting position for the tower. I mean, if he was worried about gargs or something, which he shouldn't be, he would probably get a lumber mill, you know, and build it closer to maybe over here to protect his wood peasants, but I'm not sure. It's a little bit far back. I mean, I understand why he got it. That was a nice creep steal. And a footy kill. So this is really the problem with getting heroes like Pit Lord first. Like, what's he going to do? Yeah, those creeps were definitely not on the undead side earlier. But now they are. Helping them out a little bit with those ensnares. Alright. So... I should probably see if he's actually cleaving anything or if he got rain of fire. Yeah, that's cleave. So we got cleave, towel terror. Don't really know how this is gonna work out. Did he pick up the item. No second hero. We got the lich over here and the DK. Wow. I missed that, but it's because I was wondering what this Lich is doing. So we got one Fiend kill. Two Fiends are very low. The DK very low, but he does have a greater health pot, which is obviously nice. Lich is in here now, but he shouldn't get much. Just his footy. But now with level 3, he could just, if he wants to, Nova Coil that. Take one more out. But after that, he's probably going to have to get out because he only has one coil. Maybe two very soon. But with these two weak fiends, he doesn't know that there's no second hero coming. That could be an MK. But, uh, yeah. I, I'm still lost. He told me he had a plan. And frankly, I didn't look to see if he picked human at the start or if it was random. So maybe his plan was just pit lord. But I don't know if it was pit lord as human. Oof. So he healed one fiend and then Bitsage just hit the other fiend. And this is always nice. Plus 13 damage with Cleave. Alright, so chat says random. A player's forces are under attack. Everything standard. We got DR third. No orb yet. That must have been a Miss Rally Fiend. Sorry, I'm horrible. I'm trying to look at chat at the same time. And this should be a TP. I mean, if he had wanted to, he could have hid and tried to kill that one Fiend. He didn't have the mana. But it would have been a little bit risky. <laughs> oh, no. Now he's trapped, which always sucks. And he's going to supply cap himself by killing this farm, actually. So hopefully he notices. Uh, I'm still not exactly sure what he's doing with the workshop. I mean, I see the two flying machine, yes. So I don't really get why he's going flying machine and rifleman. But I don't know. Maybe he's going to transition into knights or something. This rifleman is stuck, so he's got to walk all the way over here. Do that. Alright, so he's got the orb. Hopefully he puts it on the lich. Yes, good. 
As much as I love Boom Shiggles, I do want to see Halomoto win simply for the points to even it up a little bit. But it's I'm, I've been concentrating more on Boom Shiggles just because I already know what's happening over here. Nothing different. Uh, but I have no idea what's happening over here. And you can see he's going to be switching into A-bombs. He saw Mass Rifleman. So. But... This is going to hurt. It's getting knights with sundering blades. It looks like he's getting a second barracks. I guess mass knights. But it's only one base. And he's got the workshop as well. He had, he had to cancel that. And he's getting a very late second hero at MK. The book is should the book should push off the undead for now. I don't think he has destroyer form. Uh... I don't think he had any time to research it. So this should make him run away for now, but I don't... I mean, unless he gets mass knights, I don't see how this is going to work Like, and wins with it. Just A-click. Uh, I'm not sure where the MK is going. I was sitting here thinking maybe he's getting a third hero, but no, just a miss rally. We got an expo going up behind this, so Helomoto is trying to stay under 50 food while he expos. Boom Shiggles looks like, I mean, for now he's staying under 50 food, but I think he might, with just one base, he might just try and mass some knights and kill the guy. May not be a bad strategy. I mean,. He's going to probably sit under 50 food until the expo comes up at least. So that gives him a little bit of time to get this back. So problem is his level one MK. He'd really like to get that to like level three at least. Either clap level two or bolt level two. He can't really go clap and bolt. I don't think he can. You know, that's something you do see MKs do, but that's usually with Brilliant Sora. Helping him out. He doesn't have Brilliant Sora. And he should definitely put this right on his Pit Lord. Do it. You got Cleave, right? And Cleave happens every single time you attack. So the quicker you attack, the better. Not the greatest item. Medallion of Courage. You know, you always kind of want the Auras. But... Can't really complain. Out of the items you could have gotten that aren't auras, that, that's not bad. Still level 1, but he does have Sundering Blades. It does more damage to medium armor. You can see here, medium armor. Not bad. He did get uh, the A-bomb upgrade, but he hasn't gotten a disease cloud, but he hasn't gotten any A-bombs yet. So flat cannons for... I don't think there's too many flying machines here. Yeah, only two. And he has them on follow, so they're not going to do much. However, with this amount of riflemen, if the knights can take out the crypt fiends, the destroyer really can't get close. Nice micro back. Uh, now we got a level two. This is where it gets a little bit scarier, and he's almost level five on his PL. He's almost dead, too, though. He's got to be careful. I mean, he can't really get nuked too hard. There's no more juice on the Lich, but that orb can do work. But he has to back off, and the Pit Lord gets to back up. Problem is, he doesn't have an easy way to heal this Pit Lord. Even if he got Paladin 3rd, he can't heal it, which sucks. So now he has to resort to either Health Pots or that shitty little healing item. 225 life. That's all he's going to get from that. So he'll have about 400 life by the end of this. Not great. Meanwhile, second red and the only other red goes to the undead as well. Did he trap himself again? Yeah, I guess. I guess that knight was trapped in the back, so... Bitsage has killed more buildings than uh, 
our undead counterpart, but they've all been his own buildings. Extremely close to level 5. He would have loved to have those items, but never got them, you know, from the reds. And he's coming back in. With a drop. I don't... He might... I think he can see this with, you know, vision, but whatever. That was the shortest drop I've ever seen, but... Hey, if it works, it works. It's making Bitsage sit here wonder what the heck he should do. Got a few fiends, or excuse me, a few uh, militia with his fiends. Made him TP back. Got the expo up. So all in all, I made fun of it, but it worked. Made him back up, and that's what he wanted. He just wanted to TP out, get some items, put up his expo, make it nice, safe, and sound. Now he's at 57 out of 80 food, and Bitsage is stuck under 50. And remaking peasants, which he probably doesn't want to be wasting too much gold on right now. He might just want to take those and put them over here. But he's back to five on his gold mine. He's got to be careful with the flying machine. Um, they're just on follow. He doesn't... Yeah, there you go. They can't attack ground, so when he was trying to attack the statue, they did nothing. And now the counter surround with the book. That actually fed him level five. Problem is, he can't move. But he uses Invulpot. Bitsage, move these, if you watch this, move these up. They're missing sometimes. When you're attacking uphill, they miss more. So this is a dead MK. Oh, I should have said dead pit lord. And I thought it was going to be a dead MK as well. He should, there he goes, good. I was going to say, he should definitely buy that. Um, but he's got to be careful. Really has to be careful. Don't die over the... Okay. Not nearly enough damage, but still. That was a long range heal. So, he doesn't have death pack. You know that. Elomoto went for level 2 dark minions. So, that'll feed his lich. His lich will basically never be out of mana. Especially once it gets to level 4. Dark Ritual level 2 is amazing. He should... There we go. He totally forgot about this destroyer. It's an interesting strat strategy from Bitsage, but the problem is the lack of healing. There's no priest. I mean, they would suck anyway because you don't have Brilliance Aura, and Brilliance Aura is really what you want with, like, casters. But he has no priest. The healing stinks. He doesn't have the staff. This might be the first time he realizes an expo's been up and that there's 3,200 gold missing from it. You can see back here. The Banshees. I haven't really commented on it. Didn't even see them. If he gets possession, that's going to pretty much be it for Bitsage. I mean, it already is kind of over. Unless the Pitlord gets like level 6 and shenanigans start. But the problem is with Banshees, first off, again, he has no Dispel. So the curse is going to be great. Anti-Magic Shield versus MK will be nice. He doesn't really have anything else he can nuke with, but the big thing is possession. Uh, if he got possession in this... And he does. Okay, it must have... Didn't have one I looked over here. Wasn't upgrading it, but now he has it. So I guess I missed it. So he, he has more Banshees than there are Knights at the moment. I don't know. Now we're actually equaled out. But still, that's ridiculous. He's going to take over some of the knights, turn them on, boom. And that's going to be bad because now it's knights versus rif three riflemen. So this is pretty much right buying for... I, I got to say, I don't think there's really any chance that Helomoto loses this. 
but who knows? No expo for the human versus an undead expo up for what? 4,000 gold? It's insane. Hero levels are also pretty much in favor of the undead, even though, you know, level 5, great, but 3, 3, 4, a lot better, especially when it's almost 3, 4, 4, or 3, yeah, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, whatever. It's 1 in the morning, I'm sorry. So as you can see, he cursed everything, anti-magic shield. He's not even possessing. Nope, there he is. He's got one. There's another one, but it died. He took over a rifleman. So. I'm not seeing this game going too well for. I should just shut up. I'm saying I don't think it's going to go too well, but let's see. Let's see if Cleve can do work. I doubt it, though. There's the MK. And that's a good game. So that was a funky, funky, funky game one with the Pit Lord. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see if he Pit Lords again. He said he had a plan. I don't know if that was the plan or if the plan is to start on game two with whatever he's doing. We'll see. Um, I gotta wait for the game name. Minimized again. Sorry, but gotta do it to be able to see who's next. I mean, it's probably just going to be Boom Hello, too. So, as soon as the game is up, we go. There we go. Actually, they just posted it. I was right. Turtle Rock. Sorry. Doing some admin stuff. Boring. I never play with the music on. It seems so weird hearing it in my ear. And I know it's not loud for you guys, but it is so loud for me. Which makes no sense. Alright. So, game two. Um, game one was odd, to say the least. We'll see how game two goes. It's weird to see a 1400 player in silver. I feel like 1400 should be higher, but maybe Helamoto doesn't have too many games played. We'll see. All right, so Night Elf. That's I think that if I remember correctly, like three seasons ago, that was Bit Sage's race, and he's going Alter first. So maybe he's decided it's time to play a little bit more standard. Um. We're not going to see a Tavern Hero, more than likely, unless he just doesn't know how to Tavern Hero with Night Elf, which I don't think is the case, because, again, I've seen him Tavern Hero, I think, with every single race. So, you should know, especially with Night Elf, that's, like, the most common used uh, race to do these type of builds with. Over here, Standard. More curious if he's going to go ghouls or fiends. I think Helomoto goes exclusively fiends. I expect that's what we'll see, especially with, you know, the later crypt. I think it's going to be 
the standard, but he's not going to be able to place it over here. So I guess he's going to have to put the graveyard up here because of where he put the Tome of Relics. There are ways to make this base a little bit better, but not a big deal. Mostly because I don't see the DH ever running in to try and kill stuff, but he doesn't actually know that. He hasn't scouted yet. He has no idea what race he's playing against is because Boomshiggle went random. Alright, so this is like the weirdest thing Boomshiggle's done in the past two seasons, and that's called playing standard. So I don't even know if he remembers how to play standard. We're going to find out, though. I do remember... Okay, sorry. That was just a cancel. I thought for a minute something bad happened, but no, that's standard to get up to 21 out of 20 food a little bit quicker, so then you can tech. Although, he's getting more wisp, which kind of defeats the purpose. I don't know. It's a little bit quicker, I guess, but... Not a big deal. So, um, not sure what he's doing. Five ghouls with a graveyard, not teching just yet. He probably will soon. But one new rube tower. So this is a, I would say this is a very odd opening. I'm not sure what he's doing. I guess he saw Night Elf and decided I'm not going Fiends. Maybe. Um, so now he's just taking these small little greens, but that's all right because so is Bit Sage. It's getting a second Zig. All right, so this is never good. He's going to have to run from here all the way back just to heal. But I guess then he can come over here and take this. But he's ready over here. He knows He'll know it's coming. But he took a ton of damage on his DH. He didn't get the greatest items. He got two good ones, but the third one, not so hot for him. But on the other side, that's not bad, but it's not the best. You kind of want items that'll help out your uh, Lich as soon as it pops, like that one. All right, so two Crypt, it's probably going to be Gargs. I'm guessing it's a Ghoul Garg game for him. So I, I'm i presuming he was going Standard Fiends, probably versus most races, but then he saw Night Elf and said, I'm going to Ghoul Garg, because that's just what he does. All right, so this is maybe why he picked Turtle Rock. You can do things like this, where you just hide these two archers here, and then the creeps just sit here and they can't hit anything. And he can just go do whatever he wants. He's probably trying to find the undead to harass. Maybe he wants to try and take this, but you can't really with this. I mean, you can. You might be able to steal the item, but you're not taking everything. What the heck? I don't know if he just tried to nuke it down. I totally missed that, but that didn't work. It's, it's going to heal easy enough, though. All right. So the Naga DH is on the hunt. He's looking for, like, fiends or whatever. Whatever there is, he's trying just to catch it but i guess he couldn't find anything so he said screw it let me go creep I'm more curious what the item is down here as well vitality that's always nice versus you know well actually no lich yet so it's still nice but it's always nice when they're trying to nuke you with you know coil nova whatever their third is and you've got more life this is going to be more of a scrappy game, like hit and run. DK only for now. He's probably going to try an expo. I'd imagine at some point and then get a third hero. Uh, excuse me. 
the Lich probably wants the uh, TK hits level 5 or is close to level 5. See it? He's going to come over probably with an Acolyte soon. He is actually only tier 2, so... I anticipate soon... There we go. Acolyte. So, there is... There are builds. I I think Kalamomoto went about it slightly weird. There are builds you can do. I'm just amazed by that. It's finally done. There are builds you can do as the undead where you go one zig tech. And then you get quick gargs. But it got really slowed down because of this graveyard. It was much slower than it had to be. You don't need to get four goals. You can only you only need well no, you should get four goals. I think he had five though at one point, unless I'm mistaken. You get the four goals, you can use those to creep as well. He's getting a sacrificial pit. And he's only tier well now he's tech in tier three. Um I doubt we're gonna see Frosties unless this expo actually goes down, but he doesn't have the resources for it right now. And he got a little bit lucky here. He weakened this earlier, and it's still here. Um, he didn't scout that, so. He's got to be careful, though. I mean, if Spitsage walks by and nukes him, he's dead. And he lost one. Oof. He can't be losing a Garg. You're going to be losing enough first the Night Elf as is. And there will be no harassing. <laughs> At least... In that general area with two APs going up. That's a little bit overkill. But I guess Boom wants no problems. Still no expo. Okay, Boom. I mean, uh, Helomoto needs to kind of decide his tech. I thought maybe he was going to go for a Frosty, but it looks like no. No Frosty. He won't have the gold or the if he's trying to build out of this slaughterhouse he won't have the gold he won't have the wood either to get those and he really didn't get much done with that because of these two ap's over here gotta watch If the DH gets an orb, he can delete most of these guards just by himself. So we got to be look on, on the lookout for that. Or, you know, just make the DKTP. That was nice. You got to dry it on the way out. Definitely needs to keep that count low. Um... Okay, so he's getting some statues. I feel like there's just too much happening. Yeah, it's always nice to get a statue, but it's just so much. You're trying to expo at the same time. Really shouldn't be working, I think, but it, it may if Bitsage gives him enough time. Level 3 Naga, that's not bad. Can't complain about that. I guess the Ancient of Wonders died. I didn't see that, but I thought I saw a building earlier. That's pretty good because it delayed his orb. No Tele Staff. Not bad. Well, not Tele Staff, but Staff. I, I make up these words in my brain for what I see. And then I forget there's actually a tele uh, Teleport Staff. So that makes no sense. He doesn't really need to be camping his base right now. I mean, you could just leave a few archers, your DH even. You just get the orb. And that would protect that area. I mean, he could even just uproot one of the APs and put it over here and then just be totally fine. Two APs is a little bit overkill. He also never picked up that item. It's kind of a... Hopefully it doesn't bite him in the butt, but we'll see. He's keeping the orb on his Sea Witch, which I definitely disagree with. He needs to put it on his DH. Even made space. I'm not sure why, though. 
You need it on your DH for two reasons. If you're listening, boom shiggles, you already know. You need it on your DH so your DH can shoot up. You also need it on your DH because when you put it on your Naga, Cold Arrow doesn't work anymore. As you'll see in the fight. And Cold Arrow is amazing. So, you want Cold Arrow. So, Helamoto has decided, no, I'm not going to defend. Try and attack my undead base slowly. I'll go take out what I can. He did take out the Wisp. You know, Bitsage really doesn't have much in the way of wood. Luckily, this doesn't cost anything to repair. That's a fun fact, if you didn't know that, for Night Elf. You can repair this all day, and it doesn't cost you a single cent. But he's got to actually repair it, or else... There's no TP. That was very daring. But he gets out. If Bitsage had TP'd a little bit forward, you never know what would happen there. But that was really all he wanted to happen. He wanted him to TP. Now his expo is going in full force. Now he can get things like meat wagons, which kind of weird. I'd probably go for the A-bombs, but okay. Uh, the reason he's getting meat wagons is he'll get disease cloud at some point and then you can just attack the dryads I probably wouldn't do that myself only because Gargs counter dryads. You're gonna use the gargs to kill the dryads. You're not killing gar You're not using the gargs to kill the heroes. That's for sure and they suck for archers So unless you actually plan on having them all die um, There's no point to be getting these meat wagons especially when you're getting two crypts again Let's see now if he got an a-bombs a-bombs would counter both the dryads and the archers which is why i was saying it's probably better just to get the a-bombs in this situation but it looks like he's going mask arcs uh i don't really understand the meat wagons maybe it's just for like base defense so he can just sit out here the whole time with his guards, but he's only got five guards. Unfortunately for Bitsage, he cannot attack this base. I mean, t towers, meat wagons versus dryads. Not a fight you want to take, but that is an awesome item for Boom, sa uh, boom Shiggles. Let's call him Boom Sage. And Hello Moto is just trying to be annoying. I'm not sure. I mean, he's just banking food right now. Or banking gold under... But now he just actually went over. So, apparently now it is time. He's getting his Lich. He'll get an orb on his Lich. Hopefully. 2-0 upgrades versus 0-0. Zero, zero. Well... 1-0 on the archers. That expo has been going forever. It's got a shade right there, ready to go. He'll know. Unless he starts repairing, like, right now. Okay. So, the cold arrow can work, but you can see it doesn't, doesn't do both. Right, a force TP, that's, again, all he really wanted to do. He's got an A-bomb out now. Bitsage really needs to try and get an expo out. The problem is he has literally no wood. One, two, three, four. Four guys on wood. Definitely needs to be creating more. Needs more wisp. It's 71 food now to 50. So this is really all he wanted the whole game. 
This is all Hello Moto wanted, just to keep delaying the game. He doesn't even have that strong of an army yet. A lot of this is still Gargs, but you can see it's doing damage. And he's forced to DP. He now has 38 food to 72 food. I don't know if he even knows this expo is up. I mean, he should. Just from looking at this army. There's no way you can afford all this on one base. But, um, yeah, he's he's pretty screwed. He's now making Wisp so that he can actually get some wood. Problem is, it's a tad too late for that. And we're going to see a second expo coming down for Hello Moto. At least I thought we were. Hello Moto um, should really be pulling back his DK. It's basically stealing XP from the Lich, but not actually gaining any experience. Second Expo going down. So he switched over the orb, so that's great for the Gargs, but the Gargs aren't the problem now. Although they do still make up the majority of his army. So if the bears can take care of this A-bomb and these meat wagons. If he can get the meat wagons with the bears, he's in okay shape. But this is the problem. He's going to start deleting heroes. Deleting units. And it was just too much undead at this point. There's just too much there. He even sacrificed the Garg, I think. Get that nuke off. So yeah. I think Helomoto does it. I think it's going to be a 2-0. The Sage ain't giving up yet. I don't blame him. I don't, might as well fight until the end. He doesn't even know. About the expo, I don't think. But, um, I think he knows it's over. Almost level 6 DK, which always feels bad because you're like, I wish he had a good ultimate. DH has nothing on it to keep him alive. He's gonna have to back up, like, now. But, he's stuck first and that was it anyway all right so that was a quick somewhat quick 2-0 uh bit sage played pretty funky the first game second game he tried to play standard but i think that might have been the f first time he's tried to play standard in a while uh and that expo being up really cost him the game. Helimoto would not fight him until it was uh, on his terms, I guess you could say. You know, when he's already at 80 food. And Bitsage was only at pretty much 50 at that point. I didn't think the harassment would do much damage with the APs there. But he did pick off quite a few wisps. Bitsage never rebuilt them. So he was low on wood the whole game. He never had a chance to expo, uh, I think, as a result of that. And it just, it was death by a thousand cuts, basically, until the end where it was just undead snowballing over him. So that second game was real interesting. The first game was real funky. Um, but uh, Helomoto played that second game correctly, even though I thought his opening was a little bit off. But uh, that was a good game. I think that makes it 9-3 to three now. 9 points for, who did I say, clutch or kick. Three points for the tavern, so there's still another four series up that could be played. Or no, five series left that could that should still be played for this week. So it's anyone's match. Anyone could win. If uh it had gone the other way and Bit Sage won, that pretty much put Clutcher Kick out of the you know, like out of any danger of losing for the most part. But as of now, it's only six points.